This is a demo of the Canon M50 using the Canon Webcam Utility Beta for Mac that's just been launched and what you need to make it all actually work. The good news is, yes, you can turn your M50 into a webcam for a Mac for live streaming, but don't get too excited because there are some issues, some rather big issues actually, and I'm gonna show you them now. Hello, I'm JP and welcome to Roving Chestnut. If you find this video interesting or informative, please do consider subscribing or maybe giving us a like as it will be really appreciated. In this video, I am showing how ridiculously easy it is to install and set up the M50 as a webcam because all you need is your Mac computer, your M50, a USB cable, and maybe an adapter. Also, to let you know, I have put some links in the description. So if you want to skip my waffly bits and go straight to the facts, you'll be able to do that there. Great news is I have recently had a brand new MacBook Pro arrive. This MacBook was purchased initially so that I can do video editing whilst on the move, something that doesn't seem to be much of an issue now, to be honest, as when I ordered it, we weren't in lockdown. And I'm sure I'll make good of use of it once everything is lifted and all the associated restrictions have gone. Uh, so I'm super excited to try out this new Canon Web Utility Beta for the Mac and help you avoid the pitfalls that I found while setting up. Let's get to it and start the whole process off you need to download the drivers for the EOS M50 and install them onto your MacBook or Mac. This is really simple. You're not installing software, just simply downloading and running this. Pop onto the Canon USI website. Go to the drivers section. Select the Canon EOS M50. You'll see that the EOS M50 web utility for Mac OS is ready to download and install. Click on that, follow the instructions, simple as. Having completed the driver's install, it's time to connect everything up, which again is a simple task. Start off, switch on your Mac and open up the application you are wanting to use. You'll see I have Chrome open. I'm using Zoom's web-based version opposed to the install app program. I'll explain more about this a little bit later. Now set your Canon EOS M50 to film mode. Connect the MacBook to the M50 with the USB. Please note you have to use the USB and not an HDMI cable. Switch on your video software. In this case, I'm using Zoom in the Chrome web browser. And once it starts up and the picture appears, you can select the camera you want in the settings and off you go, job done. Or is it? That's the thing you would expect to be able to use the M50 with say FaceTime. No, in fact, you can only use the M50 currently with Google Chrome running the following web apps, Skype, Zoom and WebEx. No Safari based web app version, no Apple or desktop versions, but I'm sure that's only because it's a beta version currently. Additionally, you may have noticed I had to stop and cancel Zoom trying to open the installed program version, as this only currently works on Chrome on the web version. As you can see here, I had to click the web version once I was given the option to do so. Then after starting the video, I had to click on the up arrow next to the video button to choose the camera I wanted to use. My conclusions are, well, it's a beta version. I have Chrome and I can use the web version of Zoom, so it'll work fine for me. That might not be the case for everybody though. Would be nice if it worked on FaceTime and a few other applications, but that's probably because it's only a beta version at the moment. And I'm sure Canon are working on a solution for that. And on a full release, it'll probably work on everything in the near future. Well, we've got to hope so anyway, haven't we? 
I'm gonna see if it also works on OBS in the meantime, as that's a very popular software at the moment, but that's another video that I'm gonna release shortly. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video and I hope you found it informative and useful. If so, please do consider giving us a like and don't forget to check out my other M50 videos. Additionally, I'm gonna be doing further M50 videos very shortly and they will be on the channel. And I put new videos up weekly at least. So don't forget to subscribe and if you do consider subscribing, don't forget to turn on that bell. Until the next video, JP out.